Hello and welcome. In this video, we will be exploring license inventory and management for VMware Cloud Foundation. From the VCF Business Services Console homepage, you can click on the Licenses menu from the left-hand navigation to display a table of your current VCF9 licenses. This table gives a summary view of your licenses, which can help you quickly identify allocated or used capacities, VCF operations assignments, as well as the current status and if there are any issues with any of your licenses. When you select one of the licenses, the details page provides you with a more granular view of the license information, such as the license ID, status, usage report dates, along with the VCF operation instance for this license. Also, the Actions button in the upper right corner provides additional administration functionality for each license, such as renaming, adding or removing from VCF operations, or deleting the license. Scrolling down, you can see more detailed information about the subscriptions associated with this license, such as the assigned serial number, product, quantities, status, and dates along with the license history. Next, let's show other license management actions you can take, such as splitting and merging licenses. Splitting and merging licenses allows you to control the allocated capacity between multiple license files. For example, if you have multiple environments like development, test, and production, and need to divide license course between each of them, the process is very straightforward. To begin, click on the Manage Licenses Split Merge button and select which product you want to work with. Next, click the Create button. In the on screen example, we name the first one Development and assign it 1500 cores. You can choose any name for your created license and you can assign an amount of cores from your available unused capacity from your default license. Continuing with our example, we click Create again, which will allow you to split the license once more. We name the second one Test and assign it 500 cores. Again, you can customize the name and assign cores from your available unused capacity. When you are satisfied with the changes, you can click Next, verify the changes, and then click on Finish. Keep in mind that if these development and test environments also need vSAN capacity, the vSAN license can be split as well. Another benefit of managing VCF licenses through the Business Services Console is its flexibility. If at some point in the future you need to reallocate capacity between environments, or you need to merge licenses, clicking on the Manage Licenses button allows you to easily manage your allocations. In the on screen example, if we need to move a thousand cores from development to test, we can modify the new capacity, click Next, review our changes, and then click Finish. Next, Let's show how to assign a license to a VCF operations instance that is using a connected registration. You begin by clicking the three dots next to the license and then select Add License to a VCF Operations Instance. You select the Ops instance you want to assign it to, click Next, verify the summary, and then click Next to bring you to the final screen. Before clicking Finish, Notice that there is a helpful reminder that you need to click on the Update Licenses button within VCF Operations to complete the update. This will re-download the latest changes from the Business Services Console to the VCF Operations instance automatically. In a similar manner, you can also remove the license from VCF Operations by clicking on the same menu. Before clicking Finish, you are once again reminded that you need to click on the Update Licenses button within VCF Operations to re-download the changes. Next, let's show that same process, only this time with a disconnected registration. Following through the disconnected workflow, it is nearly identical to a connected registration, only with one small difference. Because this is a disconnected registration, you are offered to download the new license file before you click Finish. Remember that as part of the disconnected registration process, this new license file will have to be imported back into VCF Operations from the Registration menu. Similarly, when removed from VCF Operations, the new license file must be downloaded and imported using the same process. Finally, to delete license files, 
you can click on the three dots and select Delete. After confirming the deletion, notice that the allocated capacity is returned to the default license. For more information about license management and the VCF Business Services Console, please visit support.broadcom.com.